one? <laughs> My dad. He's, <laughs> cool. your son. he's a pretty cool guy, too. <laughs> and we'll call him Mr. Uh, so, we got a, a thing from uh, Chuck Hines. Okay. Uh, been in Taylor a long time. I think all his life. Great, great guy. Uh, he had asked about, he's asking us questions every almost every week about maybe a rental program for bicycles in the park. Has that ever been thought about or discussed? Uh, we did meet with a gentleman. It's been four or five years about trying to come up with a program. Uh, he was going to try to do more of a private venture and uh, like the setup where you see with the coins and you pay. It was a little bit before the time of what you see now in the urban downtown areas. It's so popular with the scooters and bikes. Uh, but since then, it's not been visited or really uh, looked into, no. Okay. Uh, he, he thinks it might be a good idea, and I didn't think it was a bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the Heritage Park sets up very well, especially with the connectivity now from Eureka Way all the way through. Yeah. That's something we could possibly, I'll, I'll get some feelers out there and see what I can find. There's companies that are doing it everywhere. And then, are you in, involved with the Good to Great program at all? I do sit in on some of the meetings. I don't know how much I can answer when it well, comes. Chuck had asked a, a question about trees in the median and a lot of them are, are not being replaced. And it's the good to great, they offer those trees, right? But at a cost, you know? So for, e, yeah, for easement, I, I don't want to throw the price out there. I don't know if Mr. Lyons is up to speed yet with it. Uh, we do offer a program, um, and it's for the easement trees, though, for your property easement if you want to plant a tree. Uh, there is a cost, but it's, it's pretty minimal, and you get a very established tree. we got a program with Landscape Supply on Breast Road. Uh, the DPW gets so many in the hopper, they'll pick them up, plant it, they gator bag it, and mulch it, um, and it's the trees that fit our uh, ordinance for planting on easement for size. Um, so there is a program. I don't want to throw it. Yeah. I think it's too hard. I was going to say two or three. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I get one right once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. And these are very. <laughs> these are quality trees. These are the calipers. They're 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 not a little like a breeze isn't going to knock this over. Yeah. They're established. Right? Very established. Yeah. Aren't they on a list too? Isn't there like only certain type of trees that can be planted? Depending on, on the size. Yeah. We have yeah. a tree ordinance that uh, calls for certain trees and certain easement uh, footprints, and and those are what are planted. You get a variety to pick. Yeah, there used those. to be Bradford pears. They don't allow those anymore. <laughs> Beautiful tree. Doug. Yeah, I know. Doug is, uh, they are nice. Did I ask Mr. Lyons a question? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Guido. Yep, thank you. I'm, Guido, don't leave too far. Uh, <laughs> real. <laughs> you, do we, we're the ones that plant them then? Uh, through the chair, I will have to look at exactly which trees, because a lot of the times, depending on what median it's at, is it Eureka Road, is it a... a subdivision do they have their own HOA yeah. um, so <clears throat> the easement program we plant them okay um, I'm pretty that's what I was talking I didn't mean to say medium okay it's supposed to be easement yeah that's um I will confirm that but as, as I understand we dispatch our crews and we will plant those trees at a cost of $200 per tree and I, if I'm, my memory serves me correctly they're right around an inch and a half to two inch caliper so and, and, they are a decent tree and just a question, those trees are at a nursery. You, we just go get them and, and as we need them. Correct. I know I, sometimes we used to have them at Heritage Park halfway planted, but okay. And if, if someone donated trees, those, those could be used too for the money for them. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have something for later. Um, back to Heritage Park. Um, have we ever thought about having more basketball courts there? We have just the one. I know that's a really popular thing to do too, and I just didn't know if there was. Well, there we have uh, we have one that's. I think they're doing the cement. Uh, we're, we're kind of partnered with the DPW to help us because these ones are put into a cement footing, uh, the gorilla rims, and I think they're doing it tomorrow. So there will be an additional uh, sub court added off of that uh, one up front. So it's going to be in the front area. Yeah, there? that seems to work best. It's uh, they, they got you know there's light up there so the guys can play or the ladies can play. Uh, up until the park hours allow, and um, seems to work out very well up there. Okay, and one of the half court. It's half court, yeah. Uh, the pavement's very smooth. There's no, no, not a lot of imperfection, so it's it's a good spot for them. I know they used it a lot during even COVID times. So that was it, today. It's it, good to see it, people out there. People using are loving those, yeah. So, I think tomorrow they're setting the the bracket for the second one. The other question is: is the the is it inline skating or whatever, the rink behind? Yeah. Is that for inline? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Or some people just come and they do laps in there. They'll do some jogging so in there. 
That was my question. It is open. Anybody it's can open use it. It's open all the time. Yeah, the, the door is never locked. They can just pop it. I know we're starting to get a little more activity with that. Uh, where teams are, I don't know, teams, but, uh, you know, different groups are coming out in groups to play uh, a game of inline hockey. I happened to be talking to someone today at work about it, and they said, I didn't know we even had that. It's, it's there. there. I just it's don't know if you could use it or not. Okay, that's all I know. Thank, Thank you. I do that one other thing. Sure. Everybody, unless anybody else has I do, but. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I got to get to it now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I can, I can go. Sorry, I okay. <laughs> um, just a reminder, I am coordinating the um, park cleanup, the watershed project for Taylor Rotary. Um, that'll be at Boardman Park April 17th at 10 a.m. Uh, with a rainout day of Sunday, April 18th. Um, if you do want to participate, you can just send me an email at the city. And then I'm probably going to steal this is probably Caroline's, but it's, uh, you want a <laughs> National Library <laughs> Workers Day? Oh, no. What's oh, okay. Um, so I just see Vanessa's like post it. earlier and just wanted to say thank you to those library workers and all the work that they did do all the time. But during COVID, um, curbside pickup, home delivery, Chromebook and hotspot checkouts, um, kits for kids. And especially if you have kids that are doing remote learning and you don't have internet, I mean, all of those services. So just kudos to the library staff um, doing all that work. No, you didn't. Yeah, so okay, good. good. Okay, mine is uh, just a reminder that this Friday uh, from 12.30 to 7.30 at the Taylor Masonic Center on Goddard Road is the pasta benefit dinner for Mr. Canillis, who is a teacher at um, Taylor Parks, who has uh, stage four cancer. And so it is Friday, April 9th from 12.30 to 7.30, spaghetti or spaghetti dinner is what I would call it. Um, and it's at the Taylor Masonic Center. There's gonna be lots of uh, baskets, raffles, and all kinds of things. So come out and support the family. I'd just like to add, usually every Friday, always go to their Facebook page, uh, the FW Post 4422. They usually always have a service agent there on Friday from about 8 to 4. And uh, this is so beneficial for veterans, even if it's a family member, if you have a, a mother or a father that served or an uncle or something, if you have any questions regarding their health or something, uh, Bonnie and Karen are incredible people down there, and they go above and beyond to help, and they know so much. And I mean, just the simplest questions, they can put you on a path to get, uh, you know, the health care taken care of and stuff like that. So even if it's not you personally, if it's your parents, um, go down and talk to them and just find out any question that you might think of regarding a past injury from being in the military, hearing loss, any of that stuff. Um, they can help you and put you on a path to really help you. They've, they've been tremendous. And, uh, it's a great asset that we have right here down the street at 4422, and it's right here on Pine Street, and they're usually there from, I think, 8 or 9 to 4 o'clock. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, it's, it's very beneficial. Does anybody else have anything? Okay. Not on there. Oh, just to, piggy, oh. just to piggyback off of that, sure. uh, they also do a Wednesday, and to, just to get a little bit of money and to help keep those programs going, uh, when's this Show Wednesday? Me the or something? No, it's it's a little it's a dinner. Oh, the dinner, yeah. A little dinner. It's, it's tacos. Tacos tomorrow, or no, Coney's tomorrow. Oh, right. So it's five bucks. And yeah. It just it helps with those programs. Well, I grew up on Matador tacos, so some people don't. But if you like Matador tacos, Lynette was the cook there forever, who was my neighbor across the street. She does the tacos on Wednesday, so um, I like them. Clerk Bauer. Mr. Chairman. Something from the clerk's office, first of all, a reminder that petitions to run for local office are due on Tuesday, April 20th by 4 p.m. We still have packets available, and it's 150 signatures. We recommend, though, turning in a buffer. A lot of times people will sign, they're not registered, or, you know, there's some problem. So make sure, you know, um, to turn in some extra. 300 is the max we can accept. Okay off to my public comments um, you, you did address mr. Kynes but he did send me an email so he um, many of our city owned easements are missing trees it gives a desert feel especially in the summer months do you have thoughts on starting a tree planting program which you just addressed right. earlier my next one is from um, Charles Blackwell and he believes uh, that Mayor Sellers and Jeff Baum should resign from office. Thank you. 
Yes. All opposed say no. The meeting is adjourned at 7.24 p.m.